under the sea, under the sea, darling, it's better. Where are, where am I gonna get a copyright for this, for singing that song? Because it's like uh, Disney. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm here again for another DIY for the Ugly Grown Garden by the Longo Bean. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you a very cool, simple decoration idea for your air plants. This time, we're going to be using sea urchin shells. Shells, shells, shells. This one. If you've checked on my Instagram account, Let's Valencia, if you've already followed me, if not, follow me, please. You can see there are a picture of my airplanes hanging like aliens or like jellyfish thingies. This is what I used to do that. If you want to know how to do that, just stay tuned because I'm going to be teaching you how. The things that you need in making your airplant alien jellyfish realness are, of course, your scissors. You'll be needing sea urchin shells. Your sea urchin shells actually come in sizes. I'm not really sure which size I have here, but yeah, anything will do. It depends on the air plants that you're gonna you're gonna use later on as well. You would also need your strings. You can use any strings that you like, but I prefer using nylon strings because it gives that effect that your alien air plant is floating in air so that's why i prefer using this because it looks cooler and then of course don't forget your air plants that's what we're here for the most common air plant that is used in making this is your tilantia caput miduse this one because of its uh, tentacle like leaves it looks so cool see really looks like a, a real jellyfish or an octopus or an alien invading thingy and then sometimes i also use the talantia juncifolia because of its needle-like leaves that also look like um, jellyfish, jellyfish tentacles yeah, there are a lot of variety of air plants or species that you can also use like talantia fisticoides and stuff like that so it's really up to you and it's up to your imagination how to do that so let's start with the process okay so first you get your string and you cut it to your desired length and once you do what you have to do next is to tie both ends of the string and after that so it's gonna look so it's gonna look something like this see like that so some people as i've seen on the internet they're using a, a stick or some some kind of a stopper where they tie the both ends of the of the nylon to so that it won't pass through the the sea urchin when you when you hang it in, with your tilantia or with your air plant but i don't actually use that i don't need any stick anymore you don't really need it because you know in my case i just tie it directly to the air plant it's not gonna hurt your air plant in some way so you just have to be careful that you're attaching it to uh, the right places i do it like this so when you get your air plant you tie it on the leaves that's near the base of the plant don't tie it on the dead leaves or the leaves that are already dried up because you know the plant might fall when you hang it do it like this so as you can see it's already nice and tight it's not gonna fall at any point unless if you pull it so hard get your sea urchin and you put your nylon through the sea urchin like this and now you have your alien jellyfish airplane thingy. Ta-da! It's that simple. 
And now you can hang it on your ceiling or on your wall or anywhere you like. Best thing about this nylon string is you really can't see it from afar. It really seems like your your jellyfish air plant is floating in the air. It's really cool. This is one of the coolest display ideas that I've seen so far. But just be careful though, when you're putting your air plant on the sea urchin or when you're doing this, make sure that your air plant is not wet because this is actually, frankly, your air plant is prone to rot when you put it in a sea urchin like this because it, remember, your air plant needs um, good airflow. So if you're gonna do this all the time like this, and your air plant is wet, the base of your air plant is prone to rot because of the less of the less air circulation that it's getting from from the base. When you're doing this, just be sure that your air plant is not wet. Another important tip, don't miss your air plant while attached to the sea urchin because water would accumulate here on the shell and it would cause your air plant to rot because it will not dry easily because there's not enough airflow. Like, like I said before, believe me, this happened to me a lot of times. I've killed a couple of kaput me to say. I sprayed it with water. After a few days, you saw the base of my kaput me to say. So dark and so black. It fell apart and yeah, of course, you know what happened next. I threw it away. I was so sad. Good. That's it. Hey, thank you for watching another DIY video from the Longa Me. If you have any questions or suggestions or anything that you want to say, you put them there down below in the comment section and I'll be glad to read them and reply as soon as I can. Guys, also remember to follow me on my Instagram account for you to see more pictures of my air plants and stuff like that. That's at Let's Valencia. If you want to see other DIY videos from the Adly Grown Garden on how to display your air plants and information about air plants, please check on our playlist on Longomi and I'm gonna see you on the next video. Bye!